Working with video in Pro Tools is very easy. Go to the File menu and choose the word Import Video. And as usual, you can always create a new Pro Tools session before you do this. So let's go and import a video. Look on your computer for a video. And this could be any kind of video that you can normally play through something like QuickTime or Windows Media. I'm going to choose a QuickTime movie. And this is a movie about trains. And as usual, it will ask me where I want it. Into a new track at the session start, yes. And if there is audio in the movie, it will import that if you want it to. Some movies obviously have sound and some movies don't. If you want to remove the audio from the movie, then obviously uncheck that box. And the audio, if there is any, won't come in. So there it is. Uh, the movie comes in pretty much immediately. Take a look at the timeline in Pro Tools. Can you see the minutes and seconds there? And you can pretty much quickly see how long the movie is. So this is a minute long movie. And uh, you can actually obviously immediately watch the movie at this point. Uh, so in other words, you can just simply press the space bar and Pro Tools starts playing and the movie starts playing as well. And you can start thinking about the kind of music that might fit this kind of picture. So you've got two choices, of course, in terms of what to do with this. You can add a MIDI track or an audio track, or both. So you, there's no limit, really, to the number of tracks you want to add. So I can go ahead and create some new tracks. So I'll go Control-Shift-N or Command-Shift-N, and I could start adding a MIDI track. That might be a very good starting point. One mono instrument track. As we just learned how to do this, go to the mixer and turn on expand from your plugins instruments and then you can dial up a sound and start playing along to your movie so I'll dial up something like an acoustic piano and I can immediately start playing around with that sound so I've got a piano sound and I'm ready to start recording so recording at this point is exactly the same as it would be earlier the other obvious thing that you'll see in movies, of course, is a voiceover. And uh, you could record an audio track to go with it and uh, basically mix and match all of your tracks together. And when you're done, you can go to the File menu and choose Bounce to QuickTime Movie. And that will render everything you've done, the movie, the MIDI, and the audio, all as one QuickTime movie that, of course, you can share with anybody around the world. So that's the how you create stories and uh, movies with Pro Tools.